Leo friends. This is your fellow Leo, Kristen Redmond, and today we are going to talk about how this solar eclipse, this long-standing eclipse, is making such massive changes in your life. My Leo friends, what a year. <laughs> what a year for you, huh, in terms of personal growth and change. Having to stand on your own and lead the trail like the lion does, right? Boldly, confidently, and strongly on its own path, right? You know what's interesting is not much has happened in the sign of Leo over the past several years. I tell you what, no major planets have gone through there, no major things have happening, and then all of a sudden, bam, 2017 hits, and we got some massive stuff happening up in our sign. I tell you what, we have the North Node, which hasn't been there for 20 years. The North Node represents our soul's purpose, our soul's destiny, this lifetime, moving into the sign of Leo. Leo is about being confidently creative in itself, right? Leading your own path, being the lion that does it itself. So the North Node is telling you as it comes in here, it hasn't been there since 99, much like this eclipse cycle, they both carry that same energy. It's time to move to your next phase of evolution, my Leo friend, and a lot of that has to do with following what brings you greater happiness, because that's where these new beginnings are trying to take foot. But in the process, it's really making massive changes in your life <laughs> that you're not quite comfortable with. But these are huge, huge events to happen in the sign of Leo, and as a result, it reminds us of our esoteric knowledge as Leos, as Leos, okay? We are healers. We are the metaphysical uh, healers through our hands, through our words, through our actions, and through our leadership, through our esoteric knowledge that we carry from previous lifetimes when we were mystics and healers and, and all of these things. We carry that essence and energy now. And the earth as a whole, energy is rising. Our frequency is rising, and our gifts, our latent buried gifts are needed even more so than they've ever been before. The world needs us in our special ways and our special gifts, and where they may have been repressed over the years, starting last year in September, they started rising to the surface. And now this year, they're pulling it even more so to get that out so we can do what our soul is here to do. Leos, we are important little souls. And these two eclipses that we've dealt with, okay, the ones that happened in February of this year and again this year, uh, they, sh they showed us signs of how we are going to break through the barriers that prevent us from living in our life purpose, right? Exciting progress happens as a result. Now, yes, it's wonderful progress, but it sure does bring up a lot of sludge and hurt and pain and difficulty in the process, doesn't it? Oh my goodness gracious. But no great things happen just with roses and moonbeams, right? It happens with a lot of difficulty and hard work. A lot of it, right? So this is the year where things happen, where you can truly be your authentic self, where you're focused on what makes you happy what's bringing you happiness, right? And where these eclipses are making their biggest impact for us is in our closest relationships, y'all. I'll be honest with you here. This is where the big impacts are, are happening. Closest partnerships, closest relationships, major developments are coming forth. February gave you a little preview of what that was going to be and what changes needed to happen. And here we go into this eclipse cycle now. Started a couple of weeks ago. It makes it very evident what has to be done. What has to be done. Do I stay? Do I go? Do I continue to put my energy into you? And it's not just about where I put my energy. It's about where is my energy at in general? Where am I at in terms of my soul progress? I was reading something the other day that talked about how we get into relationships with people and it feels absolutely right in the beginning because that's where our soul is meant to be. We have karmic connections with these people, karmic contracts. And what we're to do with them is we work on ourselves to heal areas of our past, whether it's past life trauma or trauma from our childhood. What we do is this person helps to fill that gap. They become that nurturing parent you didn't have. They become the father that was always absent for you. They become the person that teaches you how to take care of yourself or to balance your checkbook. Maybe you didn't have that in the past. They take on this role. And then we find that in that process with them, 
that they've taught us how to do these things ourselves. We become more sufficient, and then we are ready to move forward in our personal growth. Okay, this is the year where that comes forth. I've reached my plateau of personal growth with you. My karmic connections are perhaps done with you. And maybe it's not a necessary ending with this relationship, but it's a realization that you have learned what you need to learn with this person and that energy needs to be released in the eclipses. Okay? Huge things that are happening right there. You see this person in a newer light. That's what eclipses do too, right? They shine a light on the darkest recesses of a situation and then you know how to move forward because you see it all. There's no more secrets. It's it's there. So what we find with that is either things end or that we have long-term disagreements or misunderstandings that happen in these relationships that finally are able to be healed. That cord is ready to be severed and it can be healed, healed, healed regardless of the outcome. Okay, regardless of the outcome. So baggage from the past is revealed. And in that, it helps us to know that we can move forward, right? Because we don't have all that stuff bogging us down anymore. We don't have that fear holding us back anymore. We can move forward, and in the process of doing that, greater happiness and more so in what our life purpose is, okay? Huge things, huge, huge things in terms of that. Let me double check on one more thing here. Yeah, because this is huge. Like, this is going to be the long video, okay? Because <laughs> this is where the eclipse is happening, is in our sign. For the eclipse to happen in our sign, that means that's the people that are getting the greatest impact. It's happening in our first health house of self, okay? The first house is our personality, how the world sees us. This is where the big changes are happening on a personal level for us, right? Not only that, but we haven't had an eclipse in Leo for like 10 years. So it's almost like the universe is trying to say, what makes you happy? Let's make you you. Let's let you live. You feel like you take on the energies of so many other people around you. It's time to focus on you, on your essence, on your energy. And a lot of times Leos get a bad rap and say, oh, you're so you know, conceited and you only care about yourself or whatever. This is the time the universe says, it's okay. It's okay, yo. Do it. Be a little selfish. Be a little focused on this because what I'm trying to do is get you to recognize what it is you want. <laughs> what makes you happy? What makes you unhappy? And let's change it. That's what the universe wants to do, okay? And that's what happened February 11th, February 25th, August 8th, and August 21st. Here again, that's what's happening is the universe makes it very well known what has to happen and has to change in order for that happiness and growth cycles to move forward, right? Getting in touch with your core needs and your true desires. That's the major number one thing that happens here in these eclipses. My Leo friends, this is a tough year. This is a lot of your change and shift and movement. I know it from a lot of different Leos that are my clients, my friends, my family, um, on all different levels from career to relationship to health to loss of a parent. Many different ways that the universe is changing and shifting you. And this is a time when you reach out for guidance, right? You look to the past, whether it's your esoteric past and past lives, your past and your childhood. We're going under the undercover, right? Dreams are bringing that forward to you, but it's also good to get in contact with an astrologer like me, a medium, somebody to help you access those realms that may be a little bit more blocked. The eclipse will help lessen those blocks, help you see it a little bit clearer yourself so you can hear your Archangel Raziel working with you, but know that it's always great. So please feel free to contact me. We can do a reading, look at what your chart really has to say, even more so in detail so you can dig a little bit deeper. But no, regardless, the Archangel Raziel, the Angel of the Rainbow, is around. And he's been making himself very well known over the past couple of weeks with these rainbows occurring in these random pop-up storms. When it's sunny and gorgeous like this and the rain comes down and then there's a rainbow, there's so much beauty to be had in the symbolism behind that, no matter what. Even when the rain is coming down on a sunny day, there is always light and grace that is waiting to guide you into what your life purpose is, right? Because that's where the happiness is. So keep following your intuition. Follow those rainbows. Follow that guidance. And it will not steer you wrong, my wonderful, bold, confident, beautiful Leo friend. Thank you for watching. Light and love. Bye.